Hello, I'm Huey Poplock. I'm going to be talking about Windows Tips. It's an app from Microsoft that's part of Windows 10. The Tips app in Windows 10 is full of short and sweet tips that help you get the most out of Windows 10. Each tip has a button on it so you can try it out with a single click or you can learn more. All you need is a couple of minutes to go through a set of tips and new tips are added every so often. And to get the latest tips, make sure your Windows uh, is connected to the Internet. So let's take a look at what I'm talking about. You come down to the search box and type in tips. And it will be up here. You just click on it and it'll open. So let's make it just a little bit larger so we can get more on the screen. And you can check out what the latest tips are. You can explore what's new. But there's a list of several topics, many topics. Each one contains more tips. And they're called cards. We're going to take a look at what's new today. And we may not even get through all of them. And this will be a continuing ongoing project from me. So let's take a look. So let's explore what's new. By clicking this, we get card one of 12. What's your favorite mode? Make your app and app tiles stand out with light or dark mode. I prefer the light mode, but if you want to change yours to the dark mode, it's very easy to do. One, we can just click on this and it'll take us right to where we want to go or you can go to, let's do it. Let's go to settings, personalization, and colors. And right here, you can choose your color light or dark. If you change it to dark, it will look like this. Let's leave it there for a moment and take a look. And so you'll, so if we open up the menu, it's going to be in dark mode. And so will most of your menus and other items. For instance, let's so let's open up our file explorer. It's in dark mode. Let's go back to the settings. We're going to change it back to light. It changes here. And it also has changed our file manager. Let's go to the next card. Keep tabs on your website tabs. When you're on a frequently used website and have a lot of tabs open, pin that site to your taskbar. Then just hover over the pin to see a preview of the open tabs. To pin the website to the taskbar in Microsoft Edge, go to Settings, More, then More Tools, and pin to taskbar. Let's do it. I'm going to I already have my Microsoft Edge open. I have three tabs. You might, I've had as many as 20 or 30 open at a time. But let's say this particular one I want to have and be able to, to see. What I can do is I go to More Tools and pin to Taskbar. You give it a name. I'll go ahead and just leave the one that was there, and it pins it down here. As I move my, hover my mouse over it, I will see that page. And even if I go to a different page, or a different tab, I should say, which is a different page, I can come down and hover over that one and see if it changed any or something is different. The card leads me to believe that it's going to show all of the tabs. It doesn't do that. And so I probably would never use this, but it is nice to the fact that if I close my edge, since I pinned it to the taskbar, I can click that. It will open up my edge 
and it will be on the page that I wanted. So if you go to the same website frequently, you can set that up as a link in your taskbar to go to it very quickly. The next item in what's new is quickly jump between open web pages with Alt plus Tab. Select the Alt key and, the, and tap the tab to toggle through the apps and items you have open, including website tabs in Microsoft Edge. I've shown this uh, in other recordings recently, but let's take a look. I'm going to click Alt tab on my keyboard. And as I do, it, and it, and when I let go of the keys, it goes away. So I hold the Alt key down, hit the Tab button, and then hit the Tab button again and keep hitting it. You'll see the white square box around it changes so I can go to any item in the order that they are on there. And I can so I can have a lot of windows open and easily find what I want and go back to it. The fourth card in the What's New group of tips is have Magnifier read text aloud. Magnifier, the screen magnifying feature that comes with Windows 10, can also read text aloud. To use it, you turn on the Magnifier and settings by pressing the Windows logo key plus the plus sign. Uh, and then you select read from here and then use your mouse pointer to select where you want it to begin. To do that, let's go ahead. I'm going to minimize this just to make things on the screen look a little bit better because I have two screens to work with. And I hold the Windows key down and the plus key. That will turn on the magnifier menu. Now I'm going to bring over a notepad text document which is the my introduction to what we're doing with the tips app i am going to come here where it says read from here i am going to click that i'm going to come over here and html content about the tips app windows 10 the tips app in windows 10 is full of short and sweet tips that help you get the most out of windows 10. well that's very nice but i didn't magnify anything you've got to magnify from here We'll make that 200. We'll bring this over just a, just a hair so we can get everything here. I'm going to click from here, start here. HTML content about the Tips app Windows 10. The Tips app in Windows 10 is full of short and sweet tips that help you get the most out of Windows 10. Each tip has a button in it, so you can try it out with a single click or learn more. All you need is, and you can see there. Uh, let me let's see if I can come over here, get this back down to 100%. We'll move this over back over here, and that's all there is to it, really. You can magnify plus and minus uh, as much as you want, bring it up, bring it down, but you can also do the text reading within it. The next card in what's new is keep an editor handy. On the home tab, choose editor. To focus on the issues you care most about, click a correction or refinement type like grammar or clarity. Then use the arrows on the suggestion card to step through each issue. Now this is in Word, but the editor works in several programs. And let's uh, take a look. I have an article that I copy and pasted that has some errors in it. I did it in a document from Word and I did it in a Gmail. Let's see how the Microsoft editor handles that. First in Word and we're using the online version of Word and you'll see up here it says editor and you'll see also that there are several underlines and different types of underlines so let's take a look at the editor and it'll tell us we have an editor score of 59%. There's one spelling error and three gra grammatical errors. And let's take a look at what they might be. So if we move my mouse, mouse over where it says weren't, it says check to view suggestions. So let's go ahead and do that. 
you might want to change it to were not instead of weren't. Okay, what about the word was? Click there for it should be were. Opportunities. It's so you can see that you can and you can make this changing changes right here just by clicking and so on through this document. Now in a Gmail, it works much the same way. I have a new message for Gmail with the same information, the same paragraph, and you'll see there's a was here. If I click it, it says were, so I can change that. And the opportunities is spelled wrong. It spells it right. I do it, change it here, and so on through these. So the editor works in more than just Microsoft products, and it works in more than just a, a word processor. It'll even work in most emails as well. Card number six in what's new is edit in multiple languages. To check text in another language, select the text and go to Review, Editor, Set Proofing Language, and then choose your language, and that will be in Word. Editor doesn't check for the same issues in every language. When it's checking for more than one language, Editor lets you know which refinements are available for which languages. Since I don't do multiple languages, I can't show you this. Next few cards deal with some templates that are available from Microsoft. Family safety and emergency prep. Quickly create emergency instructions, contact lists, plans, and checklists so you can keep calm and have peace of mind. All you have to do is click this button here and you will see that there are Word and PowerPoint templates for all kinds of emergency contact lists and things to do in emergencies and maintenance and task lists and so on. The next card is fun activities for you and your kids. Puzzles, coloring books, infographics, and more. Enjoy these free activities with your children, family, or friends. And again, it's a bunch of tem templates in PowerPoint, in Word, Excel. And let's take a look at some of these. There's a Sudoku game, geography, learn to draw, coloring books, and so on. Some infographics that you can deal with and play around with within PowerPoint. And several Word, paint by numbers all kinds of coloring for the kids. The next card is Family Tree Generator. Browse family history templates. Record your family's past, present, and future with ancestry charts, photo albums, and newsletters. Here's what some of those are. These again are templates for Excel and PowerPoint and Word. You can have newsletters, family newsletters, family photo albums, some charts, family tree charts, and so on. Where the templates are already done, all you have to do is put in your own personal information. Browse learning templates. Top templates for home learners. Multiplication tables, reading log, and so on. As you can see, some are in Word, some are PowerPoint. Beneath the surface, Earth's history, spread of life, PowerPoint. These are all templates that you can use for free uh, from Microsoft that are available for you. The next card is add an emoji from your keyboard. Express yourself however and wherever you want. Press the Windows logo and the period. We'll do that right now. 
and that will bring up your emojis. And you will see that there are just all kinds of types and you can view them here. So each one of these is a grouping and there's just tons and tons of them available for you. And there's more shortcuts for you. You can click on that and it'll give you some, some more things to look at. Some of you may not use emojis, but now it might be a good chance to take a look at some. Some are fun to use. The final card under what's new is take a snip of what's on your screen, and that's using the snip and sketch. And as an example, what we'll do here is we'll just click here. We click on new. You take your mouse and you just drag it grab something that you want from the screen. Now I have a program called Snagit that's turned on that it goes to the editor, but normally it just puts it in the clipboard and then you can drop it and paste it into uh, either an email or a Word document uh, or a WordPad document and so on. So those are the cards. For what's new, we're going to create some more videos with other templates and other tips that are available. As I said, there are a lot of them. We're going to try to do some more of these videos to show you some of the things that you can do from within Windows, from the Windows Tips application. Thank you for joining. I'm Huey Poplock.